this video, I'm going to go over question 6 from the November 2016 paper 2 for IB Math FL. It's a calculator question. Uh, we have volume on the coordinate plane. It is definitely an integration question. It's the only volume that we really do in the IB Math SL syllabus. And there's a formula for it way at the end of the formula booklet. It says if you're trying to find volume of a figure like located around the x-axis, it's going to end up being um, the integral from a to b, whatever the boundaries are, of pi times your function squared dx. So your function uh, becomes like the radius of a bunch of cylinders. We don't really need to worry about all that. We just need to use the formula. So here we have a function given, and it's rotated around the x-axis between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5 to create this barrel shape. Uh, use the model to find the volume of the barrel. So we just need to fill in integral from negative 0.5 to positive 0.5 pi, the function, which is negative 0.8x squared plus 0.5, and that must have a squared on it, and then dx. Once you've written that out on the page, you go to a calculator and type it right in. So on the calculator page, there is on the menu, calculus, numerical integral, you can type in a function directly into here, all in terms of x. You don't need to do any integrating by yourself on a calculator um, test like this if it's a definite integral that you're doing. So pi uh, multiplied by parentheses it was negative 0.8x to the second power. Was it negative? Let's just double check. Yeah, negative 0.8x to the second power. And then um, plus 0.5 quantity squared, so you go outside the parentheses and square that, and then there's a dx at the end, so that it knows you're integrating with respect to x, and 0 0.601 is the volume of this figure between negative 0.5 and, and positive 0.5, and that's as easy as that for the, uh, for the volume question, so 0 0.601. And then, the empty barrel is being filled with water, the volume V of water in the barrel after t minutes is given by this exponential function. How long will it take for the barrel to be half full? So half full means half of the volume that we just uh, calculated. So if you're thinking, take your volume, set it over 2. It's going to be equal to this. And solve for time. That's how long it will take in order for the volume to reach that. So there's an equation. There's only one variable in it. It's t. Because remember, e is not a variable. It is a constant. It's a number. Uh, so we're trying to solve for that variable t. It's an exponent. Again, do not do any work. You can go right to the calculator. All you have to do is set it up. Many questions on the calculator exam are like this. This question can be solved with nSolve, uh, which is the numerical solve tool on our calculator, because it's exponential. So if you're ever trying to solve for an exponent, there's only one solution to exponential equations, and nSolve is the, is the go-to tool when you know there's only one solution. I will use the unbounded version of the volume that's already on my calculator screen when I go there. So I'm going to go to Menu, Algebra, uh, and Solve, Numeric Solve. And in here we have to type in the equation that we're dealing with. So I'm going to take my answer from previous, divided by 2, equals, the other side of this equation was the function with e in it, so 0 0.8, uh, one minus e to the negative 0 0.1t. One minus e to the negative 0 0.1t. And then at the end of the equation you've typed in, you must put comma t or comma x or whatever variable it is you're asking it to solve for and hit enter. It's going to calculate the solution for t for us, which is 4.71. And so when I'm answering the question, I just make sure I'm giving units. I'm giving units. I'm rounding to three sig figs. So t equals 4.71 minutes, and that's it for this question.